and I'm a developer here at Hive. Um, so before my talk, I uh, just want to have a show of hand. Um, anyone here are mobile developers? Um, what about, um, have, have any of you guys um, do React Native before? No? Okay. So I assume that most of you guys have at least touched React, right? So um, you'll be at least quite relevant, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so um, it'll be a talk on the retrospective. So I feel that React Native is going to change how mobile development work. So what exactly it is it is to build mobile applications with um, web technologies. Um, you can also target uh, use React Native to target other platforms other than mobile, like Windows, um, Tizen, OS X, and the web. So I think you have seen you have seen this from many speakers, um, React Native speakers as well. Um, it provides native level performance. Um, you write once, um, you learn once, and you write everywhere. It performs noticeably better for hybrid app, uh, as compared to hybrid apps um, like Ionic, and you spend less time developing it as compared to developing native Android and iOS apps. So how it actually works is that um, your React components are basically abstractions. Um, you write your React components and it actually gets transported into um, components that are already bridged to the native um, to the native platform. And with that, it means that you can also use any almost any JavaScript libraries. And you can also create your own components if um, these React Native um, components are not available by just natively bridging them. And with that, there's endless possibilities. So for development, I use Xcode for iOS, uh, Jmotion for Android for simulation, Chrome Debugger for the Redux Dev tools, um, and also there's live reloading and hot reloading. For testing, we have Mocha and Enzyme for unit as well as um, integration tests if you do um, uh, the, uh, if you don't do shallow rendering, yeah, full render. And there's also Calabash and APM for integration testing. I've not really tried them, but if you have done mobile natively, um, you should have used them. So you can't really see this, but um, I'll just um, talk about some of the key components here in React Native. There's view component, text input, navigator, and list view. So basically, with your view component and um, your touch event component, such as pen responder, you can basically create almost anything. So the components in React Native are constantly being revised with developers' happiness in mind. You can think Rails, um, and I'm going to show you what I mean by um, showing you a code that I created within less than an hour. Less, less than an hour. So, um, what I'm trying to do here is um, this is actually a list view, and you can treat this like sort of like a social media feed. And the top part is the counter you can see here, and I'm trying to simulate an uh, API request. And with this list view, I'm able to um, implement infinite scrolling out of the box with um, React Native's uh, um, list view component that they provide. So when I'm scrolling, if you take a look at the uh, um, counter at the top, um, I set it on two second delay. So when I reach near the end of the component, it will actually, so if I scroll fast enough, you can see the loading sign. Uh, yep, and the list goes on. Uh, same wise for Android. Yep. So it's two two platforms with a single code base. 
You can really see here there's not much of a code. Um, I will not go too in depth with um, the actual code, but you can grab it off from the GitHub. So basically, this is just a React component. And the styles are here. Okay, so now let me talk about the bad stuff. Um, React Native um, uh, supports um, Mac OS. Um, at the start, uh, there wasn't any Linux guide until February 15, 2016, which is just a couple months ago. Um, and there are plenty of breaking changes and bugs. So if you see um, the release, current releases, there's the latest five ma uh, major changes, versions have breaking changes. So this is version 0 0.25, May 5, 2.0.1.6. Actually requires React API from React Native. Um, I mean, this message is now deprecated, um, this import. So if you install your package, at, upgrade your package at uh, May 5th, and you also upgrade at uh, May 19th to version 0 0.26, React API now needs to re require from the React package itself. Previously, it was a warning, but now it just doesn't work. So it's just 14 days, and everything else just break if you were to upgrade it. So what that means is that every single package that you were using for um, any, all libraries that you were using for React Native, um, you just either have to fork it yourself or um, you just hope that someone actually um, does that for you. These are some of the notable changes as well. Another, point, another part was the integration with Facebook SDK. Um, the community, are because it's new, so the community is pretty unsure with um, some of the some of the practices and stuff. So CocaPods for iOS is um, pack, a package manager. So if you were to, if you are actually building um, React Native, you are more familiar with the web ecosystem itself and not um, the mobile um, platform and the mobile environment. So in that case, most probably you do not know how to use or do not know really want to dab yourself into CocaPods and all those stuff. Um, but at the point of time, if you were to require to use Facebook SDK, it means that you have to go through all this pain. And then one month later, they, they remove CocaBots integration and they use RMPN instead. So if you were to use version 0 0.2, it means that you have to remove um, all of the stuff that you have worked and, um, yeah, and roll back your changes. Orientation, orientation is also a bit tricky. So for fixed integrate uh, orientation, you should know that once we fix an orientation, landscape or portrait, it's going to be fixed and it's going to be relatively easy. But if we to alternate the orientation, what happens is we call a JavaScript code and it actually tells the um, mobile to the native code to actually change its orientation. And this is this this thing is asynchronous. And if your next line of JavaScript code is to grab the um, dimensions of your window, it's not actually going to grab the true dimensions after the orientation change. So, yeah. So you have some problems with that. And um, not all components that you want are available. So. Um, and also stuff like writing high performance, multi threaded code, image processing, database, complex animation, and native APIs and SDKs that are not um, written by the community yet, you have to write them yourself. So I'm going to show you how to write your own native Toast module that's for Android. So it's not going to be too hard. So first, you just have to. Um, uh, write your native Java module. This is your Toast module. And this is the show method that you want to use to call from your JavaScript. 
And then you need to register your module. It's your toast module earlier on. And add this into the main activity Java. And you can basically use it in your JavaScript. So now you have your toast. You have just written your native bridge. And if, if you have too much of a complexity in rendering, it might also result in some so performance. But with that, React Native actually has profiling with SysTrace. Um, there's a more detailed video on SysTrace. You can click, you can click the link below. Um, this, this slide is available on GitHub as well. So is React Native for everyone? Um, the answer is no, not really. I think you have to use um, the tools for the right tools for the job. Um, so um, if you are doing things like games, then obviously it's not going to work. If you already have existing, you have already have existing native um, iOS and Android um, code base. Um, React Native is actually like an abstraction on top. So if you like to wrap them and use them as React components. Um, you might, but um, mean you have already done. You, it probably means that you already have your Android and iOS developers there, and you don't want to relearn the entire React ecosystem just for React Native. And also, the community is very young but very fast growing. So it means that most of the utilities and libraries that you want to use are not available. Um, if you have something that you need and it's not there, most probably you're gonna have to write them yourself. Um, Yep, so if you guys um, want to play React Native, um, please feel free to, and it, it also gives you a chance to commit, commit, uh, contribute to the uh, open source um, uh, community. Um, JS Coach um, is one of them, whereby you can find tons of um, React Native libraries there. And that's all. Um, any questions? based on the yeah. So basically, Facebook Ads Manager is one. Um, I think Instagram is one as well. Um, of sorry? Outside of okay, outside of Facebook. Okay, let me show you a uh, native showcase. Yep, so these are some of the Discord. So have you heard of Discord before? So yeah, it's a some of the showcases here. You can just head on to this website and check it out. Um, you can also compare the performance with um, Ionic as well. You can head over to Ionic Showcase and you can test it out and see what's the differences. It's actually quite substantial. Can you use it for web app? So the question is, um, you can. So you write the React Native code. Can you use that for web as well? Um, yes, you can. It's currently being. Uh, I think it's still quite a new project, new like uh, project uh, whereby you write React Native for web. Um, so you write the same code base, and it will be transported into um, your divs and all that. So it look, it will look quite similar to uh, the web view. So it, it's not only for web, so you can use it for like Samsung TV or um, Sony TV applications as well. So they are actually, I think Sony or some big company are actually investing on this technology. Yeah. You write Android app? Um, sorry? Is it about Android No, you write a native TV app. It's cause, yeah. Because uh, they have uh, yeah, TV, they're using their own um, Tizen and whatever code base, yeah. Software. Okay, so if no other questions, then that's all for me. For me. Yeah.